Hey everybody and welcome to part 14 of Spiral Year of the Dragon. So in this episode, let's go to Frozen Altars. After we did a very long episode with Lost Fleet. Though we did get 100%, so we're lucky. Woo! So another chilly level. I like how both ice levels are right after welcome each other. Welcome to Frozen Altars, Spyro. On behalf of the ice fairies, I want to grant you a special power for as long as you stay in our world. Great, more fairies. Yeah, now we have ice breath. Yay! We have the power to breathe ice. Don't you dare throw lava rocks at me, fool. So yeah, we have to do the whole... Um... Freeze them and then break them thing to kill them now, but... It, it works, it works, eh? Now I have to use these giant sun towers to destroy the the ice. And, I get no, get out of here, poser. To melt the giant ice blocks. And you don't literally have to do anything except for aim it at it, and then on top of that, uh, to exit you just press triangle. So it's not, it's not a very difficult concept. Ow! Um, I flamed you first. Kind of, I'm kind of annoyed that you can't just like, you know, have your normal breath here. Ugh. You're so much more useful if we could now. For to get up there, you actually just use this little guy. I always forget that you can freeze them, and that is one mutinous snowman. Big scary mutinous snowman. Huh. Gems going up these stairs, man. Ooh, we haven't had one of these head smash things in a while. Ooh, big money. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can make it to this little tower over here. Yeah, this level requires you to do a lot of sneaking around. Oh, there's a gem down there. Good thing I came back. Or at least in an area I could see it. Cecil! That was a very fat Cecil. Well, then again, there's also an enemy here. I want the kiwi bird. Get out of the way, man. Get out of the way, little fire. Oh, okay, that breath kills him instantly. Now, these snowmen can be annoying. Yow! There we go. Pop! Oof. It's funny, now that's morning, there's like this really cold breeze coming in. It's like. It wasn't there like at 6 in the morning, but now that's like after 8, it's. really, really chilly. Now, a tip on actually how to get up to that other area would be right here. He tells you, like, you know, if I could free something, I could get up here, but he doesn't expect it to be him. He expects it to be, like, an enemy or something. There we go, he's dead. Though I do like this level. There's a lot about it, though, that I find annoying and difficult. Especially coming up here in just a second. Whoa. Get out of here, fool. No, I'm not talking about the snowman part either. <laughs> so, let's go in it. I'll, I think I have to close the window after this episode. It's getting chilly, man. Just, just die already, Mr. Snowman. Pop goes the weasel. Wow, those mammoths don't stop. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, because they don't... Wait, no, maybe they do actually die. I'm like... I thought they didn't die for a second. But anyways, we have a Bentley part to do. Ah, Spyro. I've just received word from my little brother. He appears to be having some trouble with a Yeti. You are a Yeti. He's a Yeti. That dumb Yeti took my ball. I told him to give it back or you'd kick his lousy butt. But he wouldn't listen. Alright, fight Yeti. Now this can be annoying if you don't glitch it. And I don't know the glitch, so... Ow! Can you stop? Okay, we'll just do this. Dude, that's getting annoying. Can 
Can you stop that already, man? Okay. Hang on a sec. I want to see something. Boxing Yeti glitch. Oh yeah, let's see if there's an actual glitch, because if there is, then I would like to showcase it. Okay, so... Let's see. Just run around in circles, hit him with O every few seconds, when I should be him. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see if there's a glitch here. I'm, I'm looking. Okay, because apparently I heard there was like a, a glitch to exploit this. Uh, okay, let's see. Then go back to the Huh. Okay, well, there's really no... I can't find the glitch anywhere, so I don't know where those so-called people came up with it, but... Oh, and you can run around in circles, I guess. Okay, we'll, we'll just try naturally. Okay, pow, right in the kisser. Pow, right in the kisser. Dude. Bullshit, bullshit, man. There we go, we beat him, for the first round at least. Yay! <laughs> you really showed him. Hey, wait a minute, this isn't my ball. Nah. It's an egg named Ally. You should go back and kick his butt again, mate. Okay, I'll kick his butt again. This time it's three rounds. I believe you get a skill point if you can beat him within uh, two rounds. Which means full health, pretty much. Like, how does our attack actually legitimately miss when we're close to him, you know? That attack is very delayed. Okay, I thought button mashing maybe faster would work, but apparently it's not helping that much. It helps, but not a huge amount. Fuck off, Yeti. Dude, like, why wasn't I hitting him there? I don't care, man. He's got more health than me, though. Oh, come on, game. Holy shit, man! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> yeah, that was that was bad. It's just like block, 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 block. <laughs> okay, boxing yeti cheats Spyro fucking three. Oh my god. 
Uh, is there like... I heard people all of you Yo, dude, exploit the cheat. Yo, dude, exploit the cheat. Yo, yo, dude, exploit it. There's no... There's no, uh... Uh... Wait, does it... Okay, people say plug in a second controller. Okay. So, let's see. Eh. Let's see if we can do it like this. Eh. Okay. I don't know if it works this way, man. See, it doesn't work, guys. Your so-called cheats lie to me. Hang on, my computer is literally just all over the place right now. It's kind of annoying, actually. Oh man, we're still not winning, but at least it's getting better. Actually, we might be... We might actually slightly be winning. At least not now, but... It's actually not the attack that I went for, but... Okay, mister. What the fucking fucking fucktards, you fucking retard? Go die a holy mental midget. Like, what? You lost, but holy shit, he blocks all your attacks and fucking mega does mega damage. Holy shit, man. But, but, we'll get mad at you because you can't get your ball back because you're playing with a fucking gargantuan dumbass yet you can't even speak. Oh my god. This game is complete and uh Tur bull shit. I got a hair in my eye and it's like raping it. This is one of the more annoying Spyro 3 missions. And not because it's like that difficult either, it's just cheap. See, cause sometimes like he'll see, see, see avoids every fucking attack, and then he fucking just like does a lot of damage. Dude! Come on, stay away from me. I want the extra health. I want the extra health. Stay away from me, Yeti. Only two more. Only two more rounds to go, and why did I move closer? Like, I just randomly stop attacking. Like, I don't know if it's my controller or if he has some fucking cheat system. Come on. Dude! 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 W fucking T F you fucking Oh 
There! We got the skill point and the fucking egg in the same go. Jeez Louise game. I know it's not your ball, it's just another egg, obviously. Rico, go back to Puerto Rico, man. Now you can plug in a second controller and be cheap. But like, what? oh god, since we didn't pick up his gem, he's alive again. And that skill point didn't give me a light, or it didn't give me full health. That is bullshit. Like, oh my god, that is just awful. Okay, that took a while to get out of there, but it worked. And that, that was still bullshit, though. That is, like, seriously, the worst part of Spyro ever. Like, and I mean, even, like, the hardest part of the game isn't that annoying. Like, it's somewhat more bearable. Oh, speaking of bear. Eh, it's money bags. Hey, dude, can you open up the rest of the level? Thanks for helping out, Spyro. Why don't you take this? The Rhinox were trying to fry it with a laser, but you stopped them just in time. What are you talking about? I didn't stop any Rhinox from frying anything, Jana. 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 Your name's Jana. Yay, the beginning of the level. Like, I want to go there. I almost left the level for some reason. But these, these enemies don't drop you gems, I forgot. They're weird enemies. Really, there's no point to them, just other to be, other than just to be obstacles. And what's this for? Oh, it's literally just to kill the elephants. Don't really need that, but sure. I don't kill off, all, kill off of all of you. Yeah, because killing or collecting gems is killing things, right? Now there's a lot of gliding and stuff going on next. Oh man, and a wait, what? There's an egg up here named Jasper. Uh huh. Catch the ice cats. Okay, you only have to do it once. I was worried that in this game you have to do it twice. Oh yeah, got I gotta get over there somehow magically. I wonder if to get up there we have to do that. The whole temple area again, you know? Like over here. Pretty sure we do. It's one of those spots where you actually have to backtrack to get to it, though. Get up there, Spyro. Oh, on this tower over here. Bump, bum, bump, bum, bum. Wait, aren't these at the beginning? Wait, that looks like he's pointing. Can't tell, like, because when I go that way, he points towards the side way, you know? Okay. It's in there, apparently. So it's back this way. Oh, he's starting to go straight. He's saying it's in that wall. Oh wait, there's a basket over here apparently that I forgot. Thank you! And that is everything, so now we can just go do the ice cats part and then we should be good. Thank god. There's really not that many annoying spots in this game until like the very end of the game now, so... Luckily, we don't have to have any more rage quit moments. Hey, money bags. Say, Spyro, you're a sports fan, aren't you? As you probably know, Frozen Altars is the birthplace of the great sport of cat hockey. Today's match is sold out, of course, but I just happen to have a spare ticket that I'll sell you for, say, a teensy weensy markup. 800 gems? It's more than I got from this level, man. Ah, oh, goddammit. You're an asshole, money bags. That's all I'm gonna say. 
The music doesn't I really change. I challenged a to a traditional game of cat hockey, but I think I sprained my flipper during training. Would you mind taking my place? Sure, Mr. Dude. Score five cats to win. There, we can actually freeze them. Is that blue one mine or his? Oh, the blue one's actually mine, okay. Where is he? I heard him. I heard him thaw. Like, can I use him as a skill point? Or, I mean, as a, as a, a puck? Dude, that's mine! Leave him alone! Leave my cat alone, dude. No! Get in there, man. So apparently he has an ice touch. Hey, Mr. Kitty. Get, no, Mr. Kitty, get in the goal. Thank you. Dude, can you stop scoring, you cheater? Okay, goddamn, he's catching up really quick. Dude. No. Oh, he didn't actually get the well one in. Done. I think you deserve to keep the Champions Cup. The Champions Cup is a dragon egg, really? Bah! It's a sheep? Really a sheep? No, nope, ta-da, it's a dragon. Yay! Now we can leave, because guess what? We got 100% here. Finally. After that annoying match of fisticuffs. Here are 600 gems. Bring us the 4,800. Because money bags took all our money. Plus 200. Oh, I can't move. Hmm. Hunter, you're an empty. So in the next episode, guys, we'll be doing...